Hi friends, today we have to discuss a topic from classical mechanics that is uh, Hamilton Jacobi equation. This is an MSc level topic. Okay. The here the Hamilton equation of motion for variables Q, K and P, K can be written as like this P, K dot is equal to minus del H by del Q, K and Q, K dot is equal to del H by del P, K. Okay. <coughs> and if you want to make a canonical transformation from the old set of QK, PK to the new set of variable, capital QK and capital PK, then the new Hamiltonian equation becomes the capital PK dot is equal to minus del H dash divided by del QK and QK dot is equal to del H dash divided by del PK. What is H dash? It is the new Hamiltonian function and it can be written like this. Uh, h dash is equal to h plus del f by del t. Okay, del f by del t. And uh, what is f? f is a generating function and f can be uh, the function of q, k, p, k and t. That is f is equal to f2 into, we take f as f2. f2 is the function of q, k, p, k and t. Then uh, put the value of f here. That is uh, instead of f, we can write the f2 like this. So h dash is equal to h plus del f2 divided by del t. Okay. Then uh, we take the new Hamiltonian function is equal to 0. That is the h dash is equal to 0. Then this equation, this equation is equal to 0 here. Uh, that means uh, del f2 by del t, it is a minus h, minus of Hamiltonian. Okay. The partial uh, derivatives of uh, the generating function is equal to minus of uh, old Hamiltonian function. And from this equation, pk dot is equal to 0 because h dash is equal to 0. Any function that's a derivative with respect to time equal to 0 means that function is a constant. That means pk is equal to a constant alpha k. And here qk dot is equal to 0 means qk is also a constant that is beta k. Okay. Write it down please. Okay, let's continue our section. Uh, we take uh, f is equal to f is the where f is the generating function here. f is equal to f2. It is a function of qk, capital PK and uh, t. And uh, from this generating function, we, we take the generalized coordinate as pk is equal to f2 by q del pk is equal to del f2 by del qk and qk is equal to del f2 by del pk. It is our convenience we take a pk and qk as a positive quantities. Okay. And uh, d by dt of f means uh, it is not the d by dt of f2. Because f2 is a function of qk, pk and t. So we have to take a partial differentiation with respect to qk and pk and t. So we have this equation del f2 by del qk and the dq by dt. dq by dt we can write a dq dot plus a del f2 by del pk then dpk by dt that is pk dot plus a partial differentiation with respect to time. Hmm? We know that uh, pk dot is equal to 0 because uh, new Hamiltonian function is equal to 0. Okay. And the pk is a constant. That constant is a uh, beta k. df by dt is equal to this term becomes 0. That means uh, uh, the summation k, this term and this term. This term is equal to 0 here. But we know that uh, del f2 by del t is equal to minus h minus h and uh, it is a function of uh, qk pk and t but uh, pk here it is a uh, del f2 by del qk that means minus h qk comma del f2 by del qk comma t h is the function of these three variables okay and uh, we have another equation is a uh, del f2 by del QK is equal to PK here. Hmm? Okay. Uh, let's take these two equations as an important equation. And uh, here this equation become DF by DT is equal to here. Del F2 by Del QK it is PK. Okay. 
so the, this equation becomes uh, instead of del f2 by del qk this pk qk dot uh, minus uh, h uh, here minus h means uh, del instead of del f2 by del t we take uh, minus h here minus h okay so this equation becomes uh, df by dt is equal to summation pk qk dot uh, minus h this is the lagrangian this equation is a lagrangian of the system lagrangian of the system that means uh, that means df by dt equal to df2 by dt which is equal to Lagrangian of the system. Hmm? And if you want to find out this function f2, uh, integrate the Lagrangian function with respect to time. And this term is equal to s, where s is the action of the system and it is known as the Hamilton's variable principal function. Okay, s is, the, s is known as Hamilton's variable principal function. And that can be written like this, F2. F2 is the function of QK, PK and T. And S is also the function of QK, PK and T. So, instead of F2, we can put S in all the all these equations. Okay. Then we have F2 by del T equal to minus H. It's become del S by del T plus H equual to 0. Or we can write like this h plus del s by del t equal to 0 and del this equation become del s by del t equal to pk okay this equation is known as hamilton jacobi equation hamilton jacobi equation okay that is Hamiltonian Jacobi equation is H plus del S by del T equal to 0. And it is the partial differential equation of the uh, equation of first order. First order equation. And it contain n plus 1 uh, variables are there. n plus 1 variables. Are How many variables are there? n plus 1 variable. And uh, the first, it is the first order uh, partial differential equation. Okay. And the solution of this equation, solution of this equation is known as a Hamilton principal function, S, yes. Hamilton principal function. It is a function of QK, T and N plus 1 uh, constants of integration. Therefore, S is a function of Q1, Q2 up to Qn, alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n and alpha n plus 1, comma T. But out of this uh, uh, n plus 1 independent constant of integration and out of n plus 1 constant of integration n plus 1 constant of integration one of the constant of integration is irrelevant to the solution so we can write this s is equal to q it is a function of q1 q2 up to qn alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n not alpha n plus 1 here okay and t but uh, uh, take f2 equal to s yes, is the function of qk, pk and t. And pk dot is equal to 0. pk dot is equal to 0. That is uh, when h dash is equal to 0. Del h dash divided by del qk. When h dash is the new Hamiltonian function becomes 0. PK dot is equal to 0 and PK is equal to alpha K. It is a constant and if QK dot is equal to 0, that means QK is a, uh, equal to a constant of beta K. Hmm? Then uh, we take uh, PK is a, equal to the partial derivatives of F2 with respect to QK. And instead of F2, we can write uh, right here the S. Instead of F2, we can write S here. Therefore, the partial derivative of QK of S. It is the function of QK, alpha K and T. What is alpha K? It is PK. Instead of PK, we write alpha K here. Okay. And Q is equal to del F2 by del PK. And here also we put F2 as S. Therefore, QK qk equal to del s it is a function of qk alpha k and t divided by del alpha k actually here it is pk but 
pk is alpha k therefore we uh, we differentiate with respect to the alpha k okay and from this equation qk is the function of alpha k beta k and t and pk is the function of alpha k beta k and t okay it's all about uh, hamilton jacobi equation from classical mechanics uh, thank you for watching my video see you on another video with another topic from classical mechanics thank you bye